Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. I realize this isn't a formal military organization like Hydra, but when it comes to the recent behavior of Nico and Magic, the word insubordination comes to mind. Wanda is their friend. I'd be more concerned if they weren't unhappy with the situation. Then you agree with them? With their approach? I might have done the same. Like you said, this isn't the military. You can give orders, but at the end of the day, we're all going along with you because we believe in what you're saying, not because of some title. Especially one like Caretaker. I'm not sure how to take that, but I hear what you're saying, Blade. Good, because I'm not about to play drill sergeant around here. Do you remember the bells, kiddo? When you were younger, I could barely keep you out of that tower. Any excuse to ring those damn things? You don't know how close I came to cutting them down. so often that I almost lost my concentration. About time. I was getting hungry. As if the people of New York didn't have enough problems, scattered reports of Hydra activity are coming in from across the five boroughs. We'll head to the highest concentration first and take it from there. in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. I don't foresee any concerns there. Let's for the service. You were too weak for this fight. We've done it. Excellent work. Why is it that for every one of these sites we take out, it seems like two more appear in their place? Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. It's easier than this. <laughs> to my name, too. Hell of a price, Crossbones, put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay attached to your body. Well, too bad for you. Big words. For a dead man. You got one thing right today, Sabretooth. Heads are definitely about to roll. Oh, look. Another mangy stray. You smell wrong. Compared to him? Good point. Now I get to kill two runs with one claw. Me. 
Maybe I should be paying Hydra. Keep that animal down before he can hurt anyone else. Who you call an animal, lady? Check your ears, Creed. She didn't stutter. Not the like yeah. for you. Some sort of werewolf? How invigorating! It's about time. Can he heal from that too? No, no. But I'm gonna make sure he doesn't. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett. But I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. 
Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. I have too much else to worry about right now. I do not have much patience for difficult personalities. Stark and strange bickering are as much as I can tolerate. Well, Logan isn't here, is he? He's out there, in the world, still tracking Sabretooth. If we're lucky, he'll put Sabretooth away for good, and that'll be the last we hear of it. And if we are not lucky... Then there will be a lot more dead bodies in our future. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything. Rest easy. I will not freak out because you do not seem like a threat. That's because you haven't seen me on a bad day. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Man, you're always an X-Man. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not... something else? Yes, I am sure. Yeah, he's a tough psychopath to forget. He's nasty. And I don't just mean his smell. Blade, what is it? Caught a scent around the abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint, not enough for anyone else to notice, but it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I am sure Charlie could help, and I might be useful too. After you. Sure that dog knows where she's going? No, but I trust her instincts. At least you're honest. Charlie will be the first to let us know if she cannot find the way. You two have a lot of conversations? I can tell you never had a dog before, Blade. You never got the chance as a kid. Too risky these days in my line of work. Maybe you just need to find the right dog. Haven't found a breed yet. The vamps won't eat out of spite. Oh, I see what you mean.
I can still smell it. That thing is out here somewhere. Now I remember why I stay in the Abbey at night. This place gives me the creeps, and I've seen some stuff. That looked like... Some kind of jacked up shadow hound. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found the bar guest. But it can't be. The what? The bar guest. Legendary demon dog of the old country. Kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire. A shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit, but how would it have gotten here? Good question, but we're not gonna find the answer tonight. Let's head back before caretaker locks the doors on us. Damn, that thing is shifty. Looked like it knew we were coming, too. I'm no expert, but that's not our usual portal. Looks like magics, but I don't know. Red? We should head back. Don't want Caretaker to come looking for us. You coming? I have seen Caretaker mad. Me too. We better hurry. Tonight's the night for emo kids. You coming? Lead the way. And the emo kids are back for another deep dive into the night of your death. When can we start? Soon. Strange asked to lead tonight's meeting. He's prepping the... Ugh, I, I don't know what exactly. It involves a lot of weird math. While he's preparing his... Um... The... Theorems, I guess? You should talk to Magic. She'll explain how we use ingredients. You already provided ingredients, so it was pointless for Nico to send you. To make up for this, I shall tell you something of mild interest. Remember, ingredients make mystical trinkets. Excess trinkets go to you. I will provide a new list for the next meeting. Check your spark tomorrow. <sighs> Enough about ingredients. I said more words than strange. Has he prepared yet? I have plans for after. What plans? Solitary plans. All my preparations are complete. And now for a thorough explanation of this week's delicate divinations. However, Miss Minoru insisted I provide a summary, if you request it. Did Miss Rasputin make a request? And a gesture? Neither which bear repeating? I want to know exactly what you will do to me. Wonderful. Our previous attempt to tease out your missing memories was limited by the ritual's pentagonal fundaments. Okay. Are you familiar with the concept of a hypercube? Uh, what? Uh, no matter. A hypercube is far too simplistic. We must turn to the humble pentaract. Mm hmm. Uh, more precisely, a decateronic inversion of the ritual framework. This shall augment the recovery of your memoria absentis. Sure. I've completely lost you, haven't I? Perhaps you could give me the summary. We do the same as before, but this time we zap you with more mystical power. That is it? <sighs> That's it. Shall we begin? Go ahead. Where do your memories last leave off? I was running through the Abbey grounds. Good. Now, focus. And now, wake your mind from slumber. I burst into the clearing, expecting an army. Instead, I find them. Her. She sits at the center of a muddy circle. For a moment, I wonder if she sleeps. 
Tell us, Hunter. Tell us who you see. I see the mother of demons, herald of the manifold dream. She who tends what dwells beneath. I see Lilith. I see... I, I see my... Ugh. What's happening here? What, you... you got a spidey sense, too? I was taking a walk. I heard the chanting. Crap. I messed up the binding formula. As I most definitely told you, lemon scented is no replacement for actual lemon. What exactly is going on? The Hunter's resurrection, though miraculous, was incomplete. We're attempting to restore a rather crucial set of memories. How Hunter killed Lilith the first time. You're not mad, are you? I'm not mad. But next time you do this, I'd like to observe. Of course! Next time. We should have invited her. Quiet, you. You are definitely making progress. How are you feeling? I am fine. About Caretaker? Uh, we never invited her because it seemed cruel to make her relive your death. I would have preferred to spare her the details, but now she knows. You're right. If we can't figure out how you defeated Lilith the first time, there's little chance it could happen again. I'll speak with her before the next meeting, smooth things over. And with that, we're done for the day. You leaving? In a minute. Let me know when you're heading out. Before, I thought this meeting would be useless. Now, an enjoyable kind of useless. So I shall remain. Another meeting completed. You heading out? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. My childhood was terrible, Hunter. Tell me something good about yours. Well, I enjoyed exploring the grounds around the Abbey, chasing animals, and getting into sword fights with small trees. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time. I may have been a sickly child, but life seemed simpler. I guarantee those memories are better than the actual experience. That is what makes memories worth treasuring. I suppose you are right. Maybe someday I will look back on this period with longing. Naturally. This is when you met me. <laughs> I don't think even my memories of you can compete with the real thing. Doctor, do you ever think about having kids yourself? Intriguing. I don't even know if I'm capable of such a thing anymore. But if I was, I would want to ensure that my spawn were not afflicted with my condition. What about you? I would love to have kids. And raise them to be strong, capable, and to fight for what is right. What's stopping you? The ever-looming threat to our existence. Ah. Yes, okay. Sounds like an excuse to me. I could not think of a better way to relax 